Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts on 4, Kaiserreich and the Austrian Empire. So, we apparently picked the wrong path to reform the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. So, I decided to let you play through the entire thing to the same point where we were, except that I picked the right path right now. Um, but then this happened. Um, the only thing that has really happened right now since like the couple months before well, Floyd has been elected US president, and now we have a Venetian revolt. Um, I think I'm gonna say screw Venice, even though that's 80 billion power. Uh, I'd rather have the stability at the moment. So, um, and it also looks like legionary, uh, legionary Italy will be the one that actually wins. So, um, yeah, I think I will just say, well, we shall not aid another republic movement. And, uh, well, hope that's the correct choice. I have heard some warnings from you guys in the comments that uh, Italy is very unstable and will draw in me, well, will draw me into war left and right. So I'm just hoping, well, that won't happen. <laughs> no, but um, I, I think we'll be alright. And if they drag me into war left and right against all major factions, well, I guess we just have to kill them one by one. <laughs> Slowly but sadly. Uh, let's actually see if we can send volunteers. No, we can't. We still need these extra troops if we're gonna do it. I might actually deploy one unit at a time just so I can actually send some stuff. Yeah, sure, let's do it. How many units can we send right now? We can send one unit, then we're gonna take one of the good ones uh, right over there. Kaiser Jagger. Ooh, nice. Um, let's send a random commander and let's send volunteers and done. Let's see how quickly he arrives there. Just, I want more experience points. We have zero right now. <laughs> so yeah, you can kind of see why I want more experience points. Uh, let's see, I also think I started training all of these divisions just so, well, they would be better and, well, experience points. Uh, so let's start doing that as well. Otherwise, we're just gonna continue down this path. I picked industry research as I think I did last time. So we're just very, very quickly gonna get, get well, go through everything right there with very little pausing. And now I know the right path, invite everyone, piss them off, offer uh, Hungary all of them, well, offer everyone else pieces of Hungary to repay them. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let's see, scale, not the right path, set a path, uh, let's see. You didn't want to spoil it. Yeah, it's perfectly fine that you don't want to spoil it. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Send Algerian away, make Hungary pay their own debts, and support everyone else who want to take land from Hungary. Yes. Okay. So we need to invite everyone. That's an important point. Uh, let's see. We're going to bump that one up. Or no, we have one more industry tech first. Uh, our guy have arrived, and you're going to join into the battle. Well, hopefully at least. Uh, Germany cancelled their non-aggression pack with me. That's all good. That happened last time as well. But you're actually not getting any combat experience right now since you're not engaged in combat. God damn it. Okay, this battle is gonna end faster than this one. So you're gonna enter that province and then hopefully engage someone. Legionary Italy change uh, status with us, really? But we're helping you guys. Come on, we're helping you. Okay, you don't want us to be deployed right there. Uh, engage that unit. <laughs> Just do a suicide attack if you have to, but just engage in battle and get me some of that ex lovely, lovely experience points, please. Oh, cool. Italy's actually helping me right now. Come on, take this down and that's... Well, this is more important than any kind of battle you've had otherwise. Uh, yeah, you're gonna engage right here. You're gonna attack right there. Cool. I think we're gonna be good right there. Cool. That's gonna give me like five experience points. No. Actually, it's gonna give me only like free maybe but uh, at least that's something at least it's something uh, okay oh wait we can actually give you some traits right there my quality guy right here uh, should we no or yes well first of all we could of course well we have a, apparently a lot of panzer leaders well I do want to play the panzer path still but oh shit they didn't pick a panzer way yeah, this might be in a panzer instead of... Yeah, I think so. Well, we're just gonna wait and see now. Uh, so we got three experience points right there and you're gonna train up. So, mm, pretty decent, pretty decent. I'm not too unhappy about that. Uh, let's see, what else happened in my campaign before? We had a Bulgarian uprising right there. Like, I hope it's fine that I'm actually... 
redoing it from this point because something else happened and well it i didn't know how big this venice war would have been and apparently it wasn't very big at all it was just this tiny thing on the side but i well from it sounds like um something big is gonna happen from this event so we're going to wait and see right now so 100 pulley power oh, oh. Wow, really? We're gaining so little pulley power. Yeah, we're trying to fix that. Hungry attends, and let's see. Volunteer forces arrive. Well, join back again. Let's just join up the army right there. We're gonna stop training because stuff might happen. And yeah, we are gonna invite everyone right now. You're right. Invite, uh, invite all the people of the dual monarchy. Yes. So inviting everyone, and we just got zero pulley power right there. <laughs> God damn it. We had some, we had some, but yeah, we lost it all. Uh, let's see, God, our feelings. Never record episodes any morning, Daniel. I know it's pretty nice some days, but today it's just very tiring. Uh, okay, let's see, we're fixing this. We People are joining the taunt. I think that happened last episode too. So everything, everything is playing out very similar. So, Hungry protest other um, delegations, minus 10 blue power, but uh, otherwise, the other people are giving me blue power. Nice. Okay, so plus 30 right there. Hungarian delegate uh, holds a speech, remove him from the negotiations. I think that was path to piss them off at well as most well the, as uh, as much as possible. And uh, let's see, let's just wait right there. We're gonna ignore that order, and we're gonna make a small little front line like this because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get into war with them. So Hungary demands reparations, offer them, uh, offer them pay from our coffins, the debt should pay Illyrians. This is precisely why you pay less taxes right now. And you're supposed to piss off. Uh, Czech propose a Slovak state. Uh, Hungarian delegation should consider this. Yes, it shall happen. Hungary abandons, okay, so they're pissed off right now completely. Uh, Polish, uh, the Polish propose a Polish protectorate. Uh, we shall consider this. Oh, you in Poland? Uh, demand <laughs> runs the capital. Okay, so yes, it shall happen. So basically, we're pissing off the Hungarians now as much as possible. Uh, let's see. The earlier they need to grant to. Balkabasin, which is mostly inhabited by Serbs, so reported last time we checked, and it shall include all of Baka. Yep. Uh, Romania Autonomous Transylvania uh, shall include all of Transylvania. Yes, it shall happen. Uh, all in all of Transylvania. Yes, more and more piss them off. Uh, and let's uh, let's hope this upholds within the empire. Okay. Oh God, they're gonna be so pissed at us. We offered so many people so much of their land. And if we check right here, King of Hungary is not a subject. Okay, come on. Uh, we haven't... Well, really? We unlocked this one anyway? Come on. Hungary, you're supposed to be pissed at me. Hello? Are we gonna... There we go. There we go. Serbia crowns King Alexander II. This is outrageous. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Definitely. And yeah. They are pissed. Uh, agreed. Uh, Hungary to move the forces from disputed territories. We cannot meddle with the affair of Hungary. Well, we are definitely gonna say agree and we're gonna piss them off even more. Come on. Okay, are, are you happy now? Okay. Hello, I'm supposed to... Yeah, Hungary refuses our ultimatum. Uh, you know what this means, don't you? And boom, civil war. And there we go. And that should unlock this path. Well, as soon as as soon as we annex them, that is. So, you, uh, pop, 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 we're not going to do any kind of training right now. We're going to very, very aggressively move into Hungary and bring them down. How dare they refuse anything that their overlord... Well, actually not overlord. That their own nation commands. <laughs> uh, come on, just get down right there. That was a very stupid move right there. Uh, you're gonna enter right here. Come on, just push forward as much as possible right now before they have any chance of just, well, recovering, gaining a, some kind of front line. We're just gonna push in and break them. You get get into Budapest if you can. Nope, you won't be able to, so let's stop attacking. Uh, but if you leave, you will be able to get into Budapest. 
Uh, let's take like two divisions. No. What, what the hell? Oh, oh, that's a river. Oh, that's a river. Um, but if you go in like this, and now you attack right there to delay them, then you units will be able to just walk forward just fine. And damn it, you assign more units right there. Okay, let's just stop attacking. Come on, let's move over right here. There we go. Now, both of you get over right there and use one more unit to engage there to delay them even further. And we will be able to bring them down. Thank you. Budapest is now mine. Um, and the social rift, excellent. So we're just going to continue down right here what we need. And then while we basically fight this war. And Hungary is somehow holding on even though I pretty much expected them to just fall apart ASAP. Really? Really? I really just expected them to die. Uh, let's see, can we call in Paul all allies? Yes, we can. And that's going to completely disrupt their current, well, current focus upon me. Or we could have expanded our current front lines or something like that. But uh, really, I expected them to have a bit more forces right there. Uh, let's take one troop right there. Let's take one there, one there. So before they actually bring down any of our allies, it would be nice if we actually won this war. Uh, they're trying to send us some equipment. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, two more units right there. Let's just throw them in. And yeah, they're really focusing on the north right there. I am kind of scared right there. That... Well, if they just take that over, then we might be screwed. How many units do you suddenly have? Wow, you have suddenly a lot more forces. God damn it, Hungary. Come on, just take that down now. Take that down. Thank you. Attack right there. There we go, finally. Wow, that took a very long time to just bring down a couple of units. Just because, well, they didn't have a fort. How in hell did you actually hold on for that long? That was incredible. Like, I'm proud of you, Hungary, but yeah, that, that's why we need this. That's why we need this Austrian Hungary. We are working the best together, not against each other. So, come on, just join us once again. Like the old times, good old times. And yeah, you're killing my puppet right there in the top. Let's see, how close are you to actually surrendering? Yeah, you are not super far away. If we just take a couple more bigger cities right there, then, well, you will fall. And we are pushing in quite quickly right now. Just hold them on. Just hold hold on a bit longer. Uh, let's see. Okay, you are the ones being engaged. So you're going to go in like this. Come on, just keep it up. There we go. We broke them. Now you're going to march in like this. And of course you capitulated. Damn it. Well, you will come back as soon as we have retaken all of this. Yeah, good. Engage them. Engage them and delay them. And let's see, status city we need to grab. Come on. Just say this is it. This is it. Ugh, really? Wow. Yeah, um, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Um, I was really hoping they would actually fall right now. Is this two big cities? No, not two big cities. Oh, wait, that's one. That's one. Come on, get in right there. Oh, wait, that's not my... That's their cities. Come on. Uh, let's just do like this. We should probably have requested all our all of their forces to join my army. Damn it! I should of course have done that, and I could have avoided actually calling them in and still have their entire army. Uh, let's see, Daniel. Why do you figure out the good stuff later? I think I was just too stressed right now in the morning <laughs> to think properly. Uh, you're gonna march in right here and you surround a couple units. Thank you. And that's another city to me. And let's see how close are they surrendering. They are quite close right now. Come on, just finish this war. At least we have all the experience we possibly might need now. At least we got that going for us. Uh, let's see, take that down. Come on, take down that unit. Uh, right here in the north, we're gonna move in like this. How, how many of our losses? 11,000 versus the 121,000 of. Well, of them. So that's at least pretty decent. We're not losing very much from this war. Well, sure, we're losing shit tons of equipment, which, well, we can't avoid that. Uh, let's add more factories there whenever we can. Uh, let's see how close are it surrendering right now. We need seven more percent. Uh, I guess that is a very nice place to be. Let's see, uh, Hungarian, they should be pissed off. New Hungary, they will let to go centrist in which annexes and course your puppets at the end of it. Yeah. Just double checking that this is the right path. I really don't want to redo this one, one more time. 
Uh, let's take all my units and use force attack right now. To just give me that extra little bonus they might need right now to take them down. And of course you were injured. Oh my god, are you kidding me? You are injured just as I activate this and now, well, that won't work. Uh, come on, just go in right there, take that unit down. Excellent, then you are liberated. And there we go, thank you. So we must have taken something in the north. So we're going to take all states and done that. Thank you. And uh, let's see. Let's just double check that I didn't mess up. Oh, uh, let's see. It's over. Oh, wait, that was me unpausing my video. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, let's see. The question is how much will actually be invited right now? You're in the Bel Belgrade Pact. Uh, let's see, Declaration of Transylvania, Founded Foundation of the Belwig Pact, okay. Where liberators, the state of Transylvania shall be declared. The question is, uh, Transylvania becomes a puppet of the Austrian Empire. Good. Then I'm fine. Then I'm fine. Just puppet the crap out of everything and then, let's see, military occupation. Did I say something? Maybe I should just put this forward in this as well. Let's just go in right here, press, make a one, and then just put this up. Um, or actually, I would guess that this is actually the fail count too, since we did fail this completely before by just picking the wrong path. So we should probably just have the fail counter up on all of my future videos, because apparently I just mess up and fail and do weird freaking shit that just screws up everything. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> let's just get that tank up and rolling right now. And let's see. All of you guys attack right there. Just kill off that uh, small little Hungarian army. You use force attack and finish this off right now. So we're going to need pull the power to fix that. Damn it. Well, it's getting better. It's getting better. As soon as we remove the black math, then, well, the black Monday. The black math. What, what, black math. Dark math. That's scary. <laughs> There we go, annexing them, and then now let's double check. Um, one of following, must be true. Austria, uh, wait, what? One of following must be true. Aus Slovakia occupied, Transylvania occupied, Hungary occupied. Uh, wouldn't this count as hungry occupied? S or I guess we're gonna piss off everyone again now when they ask for the stuff that I promised. Maybe. Uh, war goals. Legionary Italy is just fine against us. What? Are you kidding me? Destroy Austrian influence. Oh my god. So everything is just, well, breaking down in this episode. <laughs> Everything I thought were going great, well, it's just not going great. And uh, we're liberators. Nope. Trans Transylvania remains occupied. Uh, Declaration of Slovak State. We're liberators. State. Uh, no. The territory uh, will be continued to be occupied for now. So I guess we're going to have to fight against the Bel Belgrade pa Pact. Or was that the dissolution of the Belgrade Pact? Oh, hasn't it happened right yet? Come on. There we go. Okay, so we have to choose between at least one of those. Okay, one of those we need to choose to occupy. And it's just... No, wait. We need to pick everything on occ occupation. Okay, okay. Now, now, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Uh, so, the Slovak territories, I guess, right here. Well, the things they should have. It. Yeah. Cool. Uh, then we're gonna continue. To, I think everything is done properly right now. Wow, that took a very long time. Uh, let's see. We should have one more unit coming up right there. Yes. Uh, those three units I'm not gonna produce just yet. We need more stuff first and foremost. Um, I want a nice little stockpile because, well, apparently we're going to war with Italy quite soon. Come on, get this guy up and rolling. Actually, we should probably just set up where we're pro probably gonna get into war. Right there. And you're gonna get your offensive line like that. And we're gonna grab a couple of divisions. Let's see, three divisions right there. 
to go in right there. Thank you. So everyone gather up right there. We're gonna have our entire fleet, right? Yep, you don't have any kind of, well, you have a fleet, but nothing that can challenge mighty Austrian Navy. Uh, let's see, get a good commander. Oh, Mikolos Ho, oh, nice. Horthy, that's the Hungarian leader in uh, Hoi 4. Hmm, nice. Oh, right, I remember, right. Isn't he, yeah. I think I remember reading that he was a naval commander in the First World War, or, yeah, wh whatever. Uh, Belgrade Congress augurs a new order, while, King, uh, let's see, King of Serbia, uh, yes, yes, wait, wait, wait. Belgrade Pact does military, uh, let's see. This is clearly aimed, yeah, announce support for Bulgaria. That's what we did before, and that's what I'm going to continue doing today. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, now everything seems to be going quite fine. Except while the American Civil War seemed to have spiraled out of control a bit more than before, I think I saw the fall of uh, fall of Washington event quite quickly. Uh, military occupation, we have done everything right there. So, I guess, military occupation. So, we have locked ourselves down that path this time. Well, the difference from before. Uh, actually, will that cost me 100 blue power? Yeah, it will. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Maybe we should have done something else first. <laughs> well, faith in the Kaiser, that's gonna give me more blue power growth, which I very, very much like right there. And uh, let's see, strength in Italian, exploit. Here, we claim uh, Serbia, we uh, claim Romania, claim Sicily, and. But I wonder how this is actually just. lets me form Austria Hungary after all of this. Still lurking. <laughs> also, well, I'm gonna trust you guys. So, military occupation right there. Uh, Mozambique right there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, template. Yeah, I think we're gonna go one more artillery right now because we're gonna have to. Well, actually, we have more than one more. What the hell was I thinking? Uh, let's see. Nail bomber, transport planes, into more fighter. No, we have some one more fighter again. Two more. Support equipment, yes, and then we're gonna join in right here. We're gonna add one more artillery piece, actually, maybe even two more artillery pieces. No, well, actually, yeah, we should have two more. Let's save that, let's cancel that unit, and we are missing 264. And we're gonna get that well, quite soon. We're getting five every single day, and it's still efficiency growth, so about 50 days. Italy is gonna declare war against us uh, most likely in like 20 days, so I guess we're gonna be fine. Maybe. <laughs> uh, what the hell is wrong with this order? Oh, wow, you really need more troops. Let's assign two more guys there. That's insane how many units you need there to be on the right side. Serbia declared war on uh, Bulgaria. Well, we're gonna support Bulgaria once again if we can. So, come on, two more units right there. Send aid to Bulgaria, thank you. Uh, yeah, we, we're all good, so that should be fine. Uh, just, oh my god, just if I forgot to actually send units right here and protect that front, oh my god, I would have I would have had to add one more on the fail counter. And they go, oh my god, really? Really? You? I'm not done yet, I'm not ready yet. Come on, get that troop right there. And the rest of you charge in as quickly as you bloody can. Don't... So, we lost about 50 days there. And we never used our air force. So... Fail count to four. Since we didn't use Navy and, well, since uh, we didn't use the Air Force against Hungary and we didn't actually succeed in getting troops right there, so yeah, I think I deserve it. And you guys are just throwing your lives away right now. And we need to do some proper attacking, please. And uh, destroy whatever Navy they have right there. Uh, let's even take these 50 guys. And just a sign right there. I want to help my dear little fleet. Just wipe them out. 
Thank you. Uh, presses claims on... Wow, really? That's very, very evil. One is minus 100 blue power. Wait, was that really minus 100 blue power? That's insane. If it was, that is. Uh, let's see. Let's get a couple more civilian factories. And then we're going to see... Uh, we're going to get grab you guys with you to attack right there. All of you guys are going to attack right there at the same time. Because otherwise that's going to be very bad. Uh, let's see. Then we are going to have to see some progress happen before we do anything else. Actually that one is all pretty decent. And then we're going to use a force attack right there. Because if we break all of these areas then we should be pretty good. We we'll take one unit to move over right there. As he has defense. So they don't can't actually push us as soon as we move over. And we did it with pretty goddamn well timing. And we're gonna go in and take Venezia and that's pretty much gonna be... Oh wait, actually, yeah, Milano. It's probably gonna be a bit more important. But cutting all of these... Actually, not cutting them off completely, but cutting them mostly off. Uh, you guys are gonna be assigned right there. You guys can be assigned right there. This is just gonna be the small little puppet wave right here. Now, let's see. And you're actually gonna engage in both of those areas. Yeah, I think so. And these units, well... We're gonna just, well, kill off this tiny little thing right here. Come on, remove that unit. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? Oh, you're doing lost stand, most likely. Yeah, you're doing lost stand tactics. That's why we can't break you. That sucks. Uh, well, just hold, hold, just hold on for a bit longer and then kill that off. There we go. Now we're starting losing again. Maybe because of lack of supply, but, um, well, I don't really care why. Just kill this off right now. You two units attack right here from this side, and just, well, uh, you, yeah, everyone focus on this province. It's super important that it's this province. Because if we take them down right here, um, actually it doesn't matter anymore, because they don't have a port. I was kind of not sure where that port was, but of course it's Venezia. Cool, then we're actually killing off all those Italians. So, what would have been kind of dangerous, a uh, dangerous Italy that would have drawn me into a billion wars, it became just a stupid Italy attacking me once, and then we owned them. So I'm pretty happy with that as well. But I guess that's gonna lead me into war with the third in national quite soon, because, well, they're gonna want to unite Italy. So, pluses, minuses, I think this is pretty good. Uh, let's see. H how are you doing, dear little Bulgaria? I can't send you any troops right now to help because, well, I'm stuck in my freaking war. It's not... It doesn't look as it going as well like last time. Yeah. Hope, hoping Bulgaria wins right there. We're gonna need allies if we're gonna be in the third, uh, against... Well, in war against the Ferdinand National quite soon. Uh, let's see. Carly Spain. Right, right, right. And the why we were, well, asked to support Carly Spain was because, well, it was another Habsburg right there that tried to claim it. So, yeah, of course we're going to try to claim that. And thank you, Legionnaire Italy. And thank you, Italian land. And we're going to see what happens right now. We're going to have to pay some more for the power to keep that land, but I guess that's fine. Uh, Destiny. Let's see. We decided to do with Italy. We can't control those territories forever, and we have to think about creating a puppet Italian. No. <laughs> No, as well, right, as we talked before, or well, as we read before in Kaiserreich, everything is based upon, well, and you annexing everything, so we're going to have to see. Uh, effects if not selected within 55 days. Wow, are you kidding me? So I guess we're going to pick it. Uh, occupy them. Wow, oh, so that's the occupation option. Wow, are you kidding me? Uh, doesn't this actually require me to kind of, well, annex Italy? Uh, my occupation policies. Unite the Italian line. Uh, also suggests a war. Strengthen the Italian Republic. Italy bound. So, so it does want me to have uh, Italy right here. Or... Something like a yeah, conquer Italy, legionary Italy. So that's the basically we have the two different options right there. Either we help them or we kill them. <laughs> oh no, no, that's actually not mutually exclusive. Oh god, I don't know exactly how to do this. Uh, let's just say, okay, that's I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. I'm gonna right now just make them into a proper pu puppet, I think. Uh, Balkanese Italy and make a royal house come out of Piedmont. Uh, I kind of like that option. 
but we're just gonna let's see liberate them I guess and now they're gonna be a puppet of mine and uh, well they're gonna be well okay ish right now and we'll see what we have to do with them. If this was the wrong option, if I'm supposed to annex them, I'm just gonna, well, write annex in console command and then add the different negatives on me. I just don't want to risk it right now. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and enjoyed a proper Austrian Hungarian Empire or right now Austrian Hem Empire. Um, that you like, comment, and subscribe. And that I will see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.